everybody. This is my breakfast this morning. I'm having two Sara Lee breads for two points. I have two tablespoons of PB Fit um, for one point, and then I've got my blueberry cherry compote on top for zero points. <clears throat> so that is, what is that? One, two, three points. Uh, and this is French toast. Um, and so I made it with one egg and then a, like an eighth of a cup of egg whites. And then I have like a cup of cashew milk. So that is one point. Hope you're having a good Friday. Um, we are, I just dropped the boys off at VBS. It's their last day this week on Friday. So um, they are excited and um, it's bittersweet. You know, it's bittersweet because they made a lot of good friends this time, you know, and so it was a lot smaller community than the last one. And so the friendships, they were really looking forward to seeing each other every day, you know, and, but you know, I mean, I feel bad because now it's time for them to say goodbye. And, you know, I don't know if they'll see them again, maybe, maybe next summer, you know, who knows, but, um, you know, isn't that just like life? It's, it doesn't mean, because you separate from friends, it doesn't mean that you stop making friends, right? Um, <clears throat> we just um, had a real rough day yesterday in thought and a lot of prayer all day because um, a good friend from our past um, who he's was one, one of those people and his whole family that when you make friends, with them and we spent a lot of time with them in years past it re you really felt it you know what I mean you really felt it um, when you make a good friend you could be separated uh, for years and then pick up right where you left off you know and there's always a feeling of fondness for those friends you know like that that people that come in and they just touch your heart and when you feel them leave the earth you know and and they're not they're no longer here you feel the, the that empty spot so strong you know and I mean I, I we know that there's hope you know what I mean he was um, he was actually a, a, a local pastor and we know he is just you know in the arms of our Savior right now but it, it is hard you know to not you know what I mean? I can't imagine, you know, for the family, not uh, not to have them here, right? Um, so anyway, it was really hard to um, to process that yesterday, and we're just still praying for the family, you know. Um, but I have friends like that, right? That we've made friends, and I mean that it's kind of like that with the YouTube community. There's specific friends out there that we stay in touch you know what I mean and I think that if we were to see each other you know what I mean time goes by but then when you see each other it's really funny because when I've met YouTube friends and <clears throat> you get to know them this way and then when you see each other you just hug and you just you feel like you've already bore all your souls to each other so <laughs> the only thing left there is to do is to give an actual hug right so I fed my kids this morning and I did not eat breakfast myself yet and I'm starting to get rather hungry it's 9 18 or so um, and so I'm gonna pick up my brother who's working on our house and he's remodeling it and we need to the rental and we need to go back to the supply store and get some things um, and then I'll probably pick up something to eat but I didn't you know I don't like to eat um, when it's like super on the run right on the fly because because it's like I only get so many meals in a day it's one of life's great pleasures to sit and enjoy a meal and have that for me it's 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 kind of a Zen moment you know what I mean I don't want to get all weird about food but it should be one of those moments those grateful moments where you really 
you know, contemplate gratefulness over what you're having, right? And when you're mindful of what you're eating that way, you know what I mean? Because I find if I'm like mindlessly eating on the run in a stressful situation in the car and just like not paying attention to it, number one, I, I'm like never satisfied. I didn't have that moment. I feel like something's missing. And it's like, and number two, I could very, very well um, easily overeat and eat the wrong things because I'm like, I'm hungry. I just got to get something in me right now. I'll think about the consequences later. And <clears throat> no, um, I would rather go hungry, fill the stomach growls for now, and then <clears throat> sit down and give it the time when I can, right? Because we do that with our kids. It's like, um, or somebody, you know, somebody wants to get a hold of you. It's like you with relationships, you really should spend the time when you can spend the time, right? That's why I bet you every time you get a text, every time you get a message, you don't get it right away. Sometimes, um, if, especially if it's an important person, I will wait until the moment where I can sit and contemplate what I'm saying to that person because that person's important to me and I want to invest in them and I don't want to just answer them on the cuff off the you know on the fly like you're not important you know what I mean um, so <clears throat> but why do we do any less for ourselves right we need to give ourselves that attention you only eat three times a day majorly except for snacks right um, and those times should be um, special those times are or mini celebrations right in life so um, anyway so I'm just real careful about that and I honestly would just rather go hungry and wait until the moment where I can have a nice fulfilled moment right and um, have time to be grateful um, but anyway so that being said I'm also out of eggs this morning at home and that was like <laughs> does anybody else run out of eggs and then you're like what the heck? What am I supposed to do? How can you run out of eggs? It's like running, I'm sorry, for a Weight Watcher, it's like running out of toilet paper, right? You just don't do it. When you do it, you're like, what's wrong with me, right? <laughs> and so it's like, I gotta get some eggs. Uh, on the way home, I'll pick some up. <laughs> you always gotta have eggs. And it's not like I don't have, okay, I have a big tub of um, egg beaters, right? I have egg beaters and, um, <clears throat> It's okay, I use those to like make more eggs without having the extra yolk, you know, and cholesterol or whatever. And, um, but having egg beaters by themselves, it's like a bummer. It's like using really bad toilet paper, right? It's like, yeah, you can use it, right? But it's not really the substitute that you're looking for, right? <laughs> it's like, Sorry for the toilet paper roll um, analogies, but hey, okay, that's life. Um, so let's get the day going. Um, I have thought a lot about my plan moving forward, and I'll talk to you about it later. But I just wanted to say, in my last video, there were a lot of different responses, and um, I appreciate every single one of them. And sometimes it's hard to hear the people that are like, you know, I, I talked about my uh, genetically high cholesterol and how I've, I have been fighting for basically years, literally years, to try to stay off statins. And now listen, y'all, I have stayed off of them with diet. It is possible, but it is extremely hard. And I don't know if I can do that anymore. Um, <clears throat> but uh, some, some of my viewers just were very adamant and just said, very straightforward, you know, you just need to do this cat. You just need to take your medicine, like the doctor said, and you know, don't fart around with that because that's really important. And um, I'm telling you, I think one of the good things I know about my personality is that I have a stubbornness that can help me stick to challenges, right? I have a real stubbornness that can help me to reach goals and accomplish major things. Conversely, that same stubbornness, the downside of that is that when you do need to do something or you need to move out of that realm, it, sometimes I find it very hard to do that and I will fight tooth and nail um, <clears throat> to, to not do that, right? I just, I fight it and I'm like, no, 
there is a way and I'm going to find it. And this is, this is, I could do that to, I think maybe a fault sometimes, right? So, um, <clears throat> so anyway, so this is it. Part of my plan is that I've not yet taken them because it's been very hard for me to get to that point, but I promise you, this is really hard. Um, I will, I'll take my first statin today and I will do it according to what the doctor says. Um, it's a pretty low dose right now and I'm hoping that that along with diet and lifestyle, maybe I can bring it down and show her that perhaps maybe I could keep it at this level or back off a bit, you know, in time. But <clears throat> she said if this low dose doesn't do the work, she will have to up it. So I'm definitely going to be maintaining, you know, going about this with diet and lifestyle as well because I don't want it to be increased. Um, so anyway, I want to thank you guys for caring about me, you know, and for caring about my health. I mean, at first it might make me mad because I'm like, no, don't tell me to take these meds. You know, what are you doing? You don't understand, right? You don't get me, you know, but no, it's, you, you do, you, you care, you know what I mean? And a lot of you who cared that said, you know, to take them, um, you've been through the road <laughs> before and that's why you're saying it. So I just want to say thanks. Um, I want to say thanks to all of you guys because you all gave me some support in one way or another. And I really love you guys. You guys are really like, uh, you've really become a big part of, you know, my journey. So I want to say thanks. Um, so anyway, all right, I will let you go for now and I will check in with you in a bit. I'm having the same thing I did last night, but for lunch. So I have um, a half a cup of white rice. It's the short grain. And then I've got a ton of veggies. Um, which I'm going to count one point because I did cook them with a tiny bit of ghee. And then I've got four Ikea chicken meatballs. I'll have to figure out how much that is. And then like a quarter cup of the same spaghetti sauce that I had last night, which is an eggplant and artichoke one. Super low in points, so I'm going to, I'll put it up on screen after I it is out. Friday evening and we are going out. And you know where we're going. <laughs> you know what we're going to do. We're gonna probably hit the buffet. <laughs> and um, we, why don't we just call it Friday buffet night? Why don't we just call that? Instead of date night, it's buffet night, right? Because <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> All right, my hubby asked me, so are you still sugar free? And I said, yep, until July 1st, right? All of June is sugar free, so. Um, I really, and it's, it's kind of nice get that I have a few more days, a couple more days at least, because I've given a lot of thought to how I'm going to go about um, handling you know, my birthday and the coming month, coming out of sugar free. Um, I'm a little hesitant to just go, I don't want to go hog wild or anything like that, because it feels weird. I mean, kind of like when we quit coffee and then um, went through all the headaches and everything to quit coffee you were real hesitant to start it up again because then you know you were going to be on it again. You would have to have it. A slave to the grind. Right. And I don't want that to happen with sugar, but I feel like it's inevitable. And when you have it, you have it. It just opens up the whole system again, right? Even even if I want to do, I'm, I'm planning on 80-20, right? I'm planning on keeping a moderate amount, keeping a low amount, keeping a watch on it. It's kind of, I know, you can only... I don't know. I'm still thinking about all that. But um, in any case, I'll show you what I have tonight. Yes, I'm gonna have a sugar-free dessert. And um, I have 60 fit points. I've got 42 weeklies and I have 14 for tonight. So I'm not worried. Um, and I really like coming down in my poundage and losing little by little. So I don't think I wanna throw a wrench into that yet, just yet. See you guys later. I love you a lot. See you next time.